keeping the shoulder blade stable, press the hands forward and up into shoulder flexion to move the carriage back. Return the carriage with control to lower the arms back to the start position. Exhale as you reach the hands forward and up, scooping the arms into that shoulder flexion. Inhale to arc the arms back down by your side. As you reach the arms forward, try and maintain a lengthened position through the spine, keeping the abdominals connected to stabilize the pelvis. Try and avoid over elevating through the shoulder blades as your arms reach forward to avoid creating tension in the upper trapezius muscles. Keeping the scapula stabilized, press the hands forward and up into shoulder flexion, keeping the arms straight. Lower the arms down and back by your side, controlling the carriage back. Exhale as you scoop and bring the arms forward into shoulder flexion. Inhale to lower the arms down by your side, maintaining a straight arm position. As you scoop the arms forward, maintain your shoulder stability and trunk in an upright position, avoiding flexing the thoracic and hyperextending through the low back. Watch that the arms only go to shoulder height and avoid creating tension in the upper trapezius. Legs crossed in this position is for those that struggle in the long sit position. Keeping the shoulder stable, press forward into the palm of the hand, reaching the arms forward and up into shoulder flexion. Lower the arm back down by your side, returning the carriage with control. Exhale as you scoop and rotate the arm on the side of you, bringing the arm to shoulder height, and inhale to return and control the arm back by the side. Do five to 10 repetitions on one arm and then change to the other side. The single arm variation will challenge trunk rotation and stability through the pelvis. want to be in a position here where we're sitting vertical on the sit bones. So if the long leg position is too challenging, modify to the cross-legged position, a block option, or even the long box. Carefully rise up into the upright kneeling position, having the arms in strap and the shoulder blade stable. Slowly reach the hands forward and up into shoulder flexion, maintaining trunk stability, and control the arms back down and slightly behind you as you return the carriage in. This is a very vulnerable position, so make sure to deepen the abdominals as the arms scoop forward into shoulder flexion and inhale to control the carriage back without losing 
the abdominal connection and the hip extensors. Really helpful to cue the inner thighs and the feeling of length through the torso as the arms are rotating on the side of you. Try and avoid over elevating through the shoulder blades as the arms scoop forward. Watch going into hip flexion or lumbar extension as the arms work forward into the straps. <laughs>